Hi everybody, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to um, turn in your written work, okay? So here's what we're looking for. The written work has been scanned, or you can take pictures of it, scans or pictures, doesn't matter. Um, and it's been turned into a PDF document. And again, notice how your, the work is nice and neat, this looks great. I can read that really clearly, that's fantastic. And um, video notes and textbook homework is, is done and, and in one file and that's been turned into a quiz on Canvas. So that's what I'm looking for. So how do we, how do we create that? So um, first of all, uh, just to start from the beginning, the most important thing in this course, as you know, is to play the videos and write down the examples. If you do that, then things will go well. You'll be able to do textbook homework, you'll be able to do well on the quizzes, you'll do well on the tests. It all comes back to finding a couple of hours a day for math, playing those videos and writing down the examples and do your best to stay on schedule, right? So, so we're playing the videos, we're putting them in full screen, we're writing down the examples on paper, okay? And then we're doing the textbook homework on paper and we do, do the next video right down on paper, do textbook homework on paper and so on. So we have all this paper, this video notes and textbook homework. Uh, now, before we go any further, notice that to check for accuracy, your odd numbered answers will be in the back of the book and the even numbers will be mostly checked on the quiz, okay? And if you if need help with anything, um, you go to math help, you go to homework sharing, you contact me um, for help, right? So that's that. So now we have all this paperwork and we're gonna take pictures of it with a, a iPhone, a camera, an iPad. You're gonna scan it. If you have a scanner, all sorts of ways of taking pictures. Let me know if this is not possible. Um, worst case scenario, you can just mail it to me. Um, so, so you've got these pictures. How do you put them into a PDF file? Okay, so on our page, how to turn in your written work, okay. Um, um, the easiest thing of all might be combinedpdf.com. So I'll just show you how to use that. But it's probably better, like like if you can get specific a specific app or software or specific instructions for your specific dev device, that's probably better. But look, all devices are just going to work. If you just want to break down and do this website, it's combinedpdf.com. See that? So if I go there, right, and it brings me to this page, I click upload files. I say, okay, here's my um, video notes and textbook homework for chapter one, right? I open. These guys upload and then I just click combine and it turns into a PDF file. And the computer doesn't like me right now and that's why it's going really slowly all of a sudden. This usually goes a lot faster. Um, I'll come back to it. So when you, so you have your nice PDF document that looks like this and then to turn it in um, after each chapter right after each chapter test there's a little, little assignment here it should say something like written work for chapter one or written work for chapter six or whatever so you click on that okay and oh, no I don't want that I want I want preview preview sorry as a student you'll click on take the quiz and look at that choose a file choose your file and um, let's say that's my home right there and I upload it and then I just click submit quiz and it's done right and uh, the quiz might also ask you to upload your schedule as well if you can um, or a picture of your schedule or the schedule done out and, and turned in or something like that right um, but but that's the most important thing the video notes and textbook homework in one PDF file so I'll just go over that again. So um, um, combinedpdf.com, we go here, we click upload files, they load up, um, and then we click combine. It turns into a PDF file. Um, if you're on a Windows computer, you go to downloads and that will be the file right there on your downloads folder, okay? Then you go to your uh, course and like, let's say Math 95, after chapter five test, there should be a um, turn in your written work here. It's not created yet. Uh, do I have one? I have one for Math 98. So after chapter six in Math 98, look at this, written work for chapter six, video notes and textbook homework. You click on there and same thing, just go, you know, take the quiz, click on the choose a file, find your PDF file, submit the quiz, job done, okay? 
So hope that works out and let me know if you need help with that. Just give me a, a call or email anytime. Thank you.